We got an absolute blockbuster. Come on, baby. From one of our follower leagues. A player mm -hmm. that I tell you guys never to sell. He's been traded in one of our follower dynasty leagues. Oh, Shout boy. out to the Hotel League. We go by the NATO alphabet. Um, you can check out our Patreon link below if you want to support us and be in a league with us. But shout out to J22 Ballin and Robin Stanford. Come on, baby. Okay, they put together a trade this week, and we are really excited to look at it. So J22 got TJ Hawkinson, Michael Pittman, and Brees Hall. Right. And then Robin received Tyreek Hill, Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts being a player that, you know, I've, you know, pretty much consistently advocated for not selling. I want to make sure I keep him in every single league. But let's let's talk about this trade. Not to say that it's not it's not even value. I want to ask you, Badaki. We're going to look at the context of the teams later. But right now, yeah. without any context, where do you lean on this trade? Which side would you rather have? Oh uh, man, it, it's actually really really tough. Just looking straight off yeah, the back here. Um, I'll give you my full thoughts. Obviously, <laughs> um, <laughs> I like the Kyle Pitts side, Tyree Kill straight off the bat. Right. Mm -hmm. So like I it's more like, oh, let me think about it and then let's go Kyle Pitts. Let me tell you why I like the sign. J twenty two Ballin gets TJ Hawkinson, Michael Pittman, Brees Hall. I'm getting to the point, and I've been saying this a lot lately now, and I haven't moved down my rankings yet, and I haven't really had a thought process, but I'm getting to the point, and maybe it will change in the middle of the season. I'm getting to the point where Brees Hall I am questioning if he's really going to be the workload guy, right? Um, maybe he's getting him at a discount right now with this with this trade. But I've always said this. I think Michael Carter will be part of this backfield. And when I say workload guy, I think a lot of people, when they came in, they were saying, hey, Brees Hall is going to get, you know, 90, 80% of the workload where I know this year is only one year. Is that really going to happen? This is, mm, and, okay. and, and it is in Dynasty, so you want to play for the long haul. It's a little bit different, but I am questioning. Number two, that's just, just my thought process. Okay. not saying he moved down, just what I'm thinking right now. Michael Pittman. I've always liked Michael Pittman, but I've always been skeptical of him because of like, okay, yeah, you had Carson Wentz. You're getting a better quarterback, but who's going to be your quarterback next year now? You know, Are you going to get better? Are you going to be in a position to get a better quarterback? Because you're, I think this team is a playoff team. They're not going to be mm. in a position to get a younger quarterback, and they're going to be hopping on quarter, hopping against quarterbacks for a while, believe in the talent. I do have him as my wide receiver, 14, 15 in Dynasty, so I'm a little bit lower than the community. The community have him as wide receiver 9. Right. Um, but for me, give me the Kyle Pitts, the longevity, and Tyreek Hill. I believe you can still flip. People love him. You can flip mm. him and get whether that's another running back, you know, maybe get a 23 first potentially, or you can get another wide receiver and pivot to a younger team. But I do believe Rob Robin is getting a younger piece okay. and a win now. Like this is a win now trade, okay. oddly enough. Does that make right. sense for Robin? That's how I'm picturing yeah. it. Yeah. Right, right. No, I can I can see where you're coming from. That was a lot. Um, Sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> just trying to think. You're fine. I mean, I think that we we do disagree on Brees Hall, but I think we've disagreed on him for, you know, about a like month or so now. You know, it's mm -hmm. kind of one of those takes where, you know, I've kind of locked into how I view Brees Hall and Dynasty. You've kind of locked in and we just don't see eye to eye. And that there's some players right. that um, that there are like that in, in Dynasty. And that's OK. So I still have ultimate confidence in Brees Hall. I think, yeah, like you said, I think this is not necessarily a buy low. But when I look at both of these teams, I do think it truly is even value, which makes it really, really difficult. I will say that Michael Pittman in my opinion, is slightly overvalued right now. Yeah, I just said wide receiver nine. Wow. Yeah, wide according receiver nine, I... according to the community here. Yeah. And let me just double check my rankings. But I'm pretty certain I don't have him in my top 12 as of now in Dynasty. He's Well, he is my 12. So he is my wide receiver 12, but still that feels, that feels relatively high. Um, and I have Tyree Kill as my 13. So they're... They're back to back right now, and I think that's what's making it a little bit more difficult for me in this trade. My voice said it: if you sell Kyle Pitts, you need to get an absolute huge overpay. And I think Hawkinson being there is what would have made it comfortable for J twenty two to have moved on from him. You know, okay, at right. least I'm still getting T J Hawkinson. You know, a lot of people view him as a top five dynasty tight end, 
my questions are more around TJ Hawkinson on, on this trade more than anything else. Okay. What does TJ Hawkinson's career look like? Does he re-sign in Detroit? Maybe, maybe not. That doesn't worry me so much. But like, how, how, how is he prioritized in this offense over the other weapons? How is he prioritized over guys like Amon Ross St. Brown, over guys like Jamison Williams, over guys like DeAndre Swift? For me, Hawkinson is someone that I, you know, I wasn't, I'm not as high on Michael Pittman, but I'm not as high on, I think, TJ Hawkinson. Like, I don't have the, the same confidence that I think others might have on TJ Hawkinson in Dynasty. Like, I don't disagree that he's, you know, around tight end five. But I don't carry the same confidence. I don't ever draft Hawkinson in startup drafts or or look to trade for him and just feel like that confidence in his career trajectory moving forward. Right. They're going to need to have like a very good quarterback pop into Detroit here soon in order to make that many people fantasy relevant. And I look at Kyle Pitts, the tight end position specifically, how big of an advantage it is on a weekly basis. I feel like I get a huge advantage with Pitts for a long while. He's the priority. Right. He will be the priority. And I'm not sure I feel that way about TJ Hawkinson. So Pittman and Tyreek, I view very similarly. I guess then I can say Kyle Pitts for TJ Hawkinson and Brees Hall. But still, I am taking the, the Kyle Pitts side. You know, let's say Hawkinson, um, like, for example, if I, you know, if I had Hawkinson, I would, wouldn't be opposed to, like, trading and tearing down and getting a Cole Komet. Like, that's how I view him. I don't have that kind of confidence in him um, in, okay. in Dynasty. So that is why I do lean towards Robin initially. But again, we do need to see the context. So let's look at the context of each team. Yeah. We can see Robin's team on the right-hand side here. So he has Dak Prescott, Miles Sanders, Javante Williams, Mike Williams, CeeDee Lamb, Kyle Pitts, Amari Cooper, Tyree Kill, Matt Ryan. So yeah, very much does look like a win now yeah, team. Win now team, exactly. And then we got Ryan Tannehill there at quarterback as well. Bridgewater, Donald. I mean, Bridgewater, Donald, let's see what, what they can do, but <clears throat> it's it's hard to see them having a, a relevancy moving forward. Um, we got Evan Ingram, Rondell Moore. So really, like outside of Devin Singletary on your bench, it's hard to find a player that you can rely on in your starting lineup. Um this is clearly a win now team here for Robin. Yeah, it's it's actually very interesting. I mean, I feel like maybe he was in a better position because he had Brees. I would have Brees over Miles right now. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, he had TJ, which was great. He also had Michael Pittman, um, which I guess yeah. in the technically in the community's eyes is a tier down, but in in my rankings is technically a tier up. But at the mm. same time, you, you're getting you you get rid of the youth with Michael Pittman. And you had the Matt Ryan stack. And you had, exactly. And you had the stack. Um, and then, once again, you, I think Kyle Pitts is a win. It's a win regardless. So, yeah. I'm interested in why be, why he's doing this, man, unless he really believes in Miles Sanders. Mm. Um, anyways. Yeah, I mean, it's weird because it doesn't feel like an over overpay for Pitts. But at the same time, it feels like your team looks less in a, in a position to compete now. Yeah. Um, now that we're relying on Miles Sanders instead of Brees Hall for this running back room, I mean, you take out Tyreek, you put Pittman there, I'm fine. Of course, I want Kyle Pitts there, but I think I want Brees Hall more for this team construction. You know, Agreed. if you go out and you move and you trade for Kyle Pitts, yeah. it typically needs to be two scenarios. Number one, you just have an incredible amount of assets that it's really not going to hurt your overall team. Or number mm. two, you're completely rebuilding and you don't care what you've given up for him because you don't want to win right now. Right. So I think this might have put Robin in a little bit of a difficult position, needing to rely now on Miles Sanders or Devin Singletary to really hit because it's obvious that he's trying to win right now. Yeah, it's so interesting. It's really interesting. I guess I guess it takes let's us look to, at yeah, JJ. Let's look at J twenty two side J22. here. So he's got Tom Brady. Najee, Saquon, this looks like a win now team as well. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so Brady, Najee, Saquon, Pittman, Bateman, TJ, Fournette, Brees, Tua. I definitely think this is a win now team. We also got Joe Flacco there, Davis Mills, Marlon Mack, uh, Michael Carter, Damian Pierce, Tyler Lockett, Wandell Robinson, Bobby Tunyon, Zay Jones. So oh, this man. team feels it's, pretty deep. I feel like he was so much, he was well off with 
Yeah, same. And with that's Kyle what Pitt. I was gonna say as well. Like, like, like you probably was, didn't need to make this move. Yeah, what was the point of the trade? Kind of like for both. You know, he you keep Cal Pitts, who, like you said, is is a top guy and Huge it feels really advantage. comfortable. And for then the you have Tyreek Hill, who you can just put at your your second flex because you already have Michael P- or at the time. Well, technically, you had Tyreek Hill, Rashad Bateman, and then you had. Um, then you can put like someone like a Damian Pierce. You had Tyler Lockett there. You had Wandell there. Yeah, I like, think I would have preferred to keep Kyle Pitts here on J and J twenty two side. I wonder. I think. He, I wonder if he wanted a running back because he's worried about Saquon. Maybe. Because maybe, but if you win now, I feel like but man, Kyle still. Pitts gives you the youth. You have yeah. I mean, look, you had Najee, you had Saquon, you yeah. also had. Damian Pierce. Exactly. And that. Michael Carter, in case, you know, he does have a role, which he will. That feels like enough to me to keep Kyle Pitts and have that like dynasty advantage for, you know, however many years it's gonna be an advantage for. <laughs> right. Man, I really think I would have stuck with Pitts here. Yeah. I think gives I- you more depth. I mean, look, it definitely gives you more really good depth. But yeah, I don't know. Like now that now that I have context, I don't know what to say. I don't know exactly who won this one. Yeah, I mean, I personally think the person that won is the person that got. Oh, actually, no. That's I was gonna say Robin won because he got Kyle Pitts, but I do believe. But Robin also had a more complete team before the Pitts trade. Yeah, but now JJ also feels like he has a more. It's not that he got a, a less complete team. He just had a higher upside with Kyle Pitts. Yeah, the now, starting roster, I, I don't think improved. No, it didn't improve. Is that, if you know what I mean? Well, maybe it did because you have Brees Hall at your flex, but you could have had who at your flex instead. Damian Pierce, Tyler yeah, Lockett. Damian Pierce, exactly. So Tyler, yeah. it might have improved, but you also took a hit with Kyle Pitts not being there. So I don't know that it, the starting roster did improve. Um, if J22 or Robin's out there, and if there's any context that we're missing, you guys let us know because we might not be capital. presenting it. Yeah, let's look at the draft capital, but we, we might not be presenting it the way that you want us to. Um, all right, so looking at the draft capital, we have... Um, I'm trying to find the draft capital here. This is the wrong league. My bad. No, it's okay. I, um, I'm looking at J22. Let me, let, me, uh, let me pick this up. J22. Mm-hmm. Okay, J22 and Robin. So we can see Robin here, J22 here. So Robin has, you know, looks like he has pretty much all of his picks. But the same can be said for J22. <laughs> That's so weird. That's so weird <laughs> about this trade. Yeah. I, guess I mean, with typically the you see like someone going in a certain direction and the other person going in the opposite direction. They were just both in the same both direction. Both win now teams. <laughs> you know, both have all their draft capital. Mm-hmm. Um, it's interesting. It is very interesting. I feel pretty confident that there might be something that we're missing to the trade here with the context. So Robin or J22, let us know. I don't, I don't know that I can declare a winner, truly. Um, I mean, if I have to choose a side, give me the Kyle Pitts side here. But yeah. yeah, I mean, the Kyle Pitts side is the better trade. The, the, you know, so which is Robin's team. I think he wins the trade, but with the context, I feel like J22 got a more, in my eyes, feels like okay. his team is more complete and has a better depth at it now sure okay um, and he so if the younger. goal is to win now maybe j22 you're saying ha- like has a necessary depth in case things go wrong and yeah has and a necessary has lineup youth. he can rely on yeah and you gotta to, think about it win. like the youth gap is not massive you know i mean mm. you're going from kyle pitch 21 to tj hoggis in 25 not crazy tj i think no. could play yeah. in the league for another you know, no, six I plus agree. years. And then you go Michael Pittman. You go for Tyreek, which is 28, to Michael Pittman, 24. So I guess the age, maybe maybe he felt like the age potentially balanced it out with getting Brees mm. Hall at 21 as well. Sure, um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, look, this is, this is one that I don't know exactly which side to lean. But if I have to choose a trade, because, again, the context of both teams, I don't know that I would personally make these moves. But... Um, obviously they've done it for a reason that they believe in, but Mm -hmm. I think again, if you look at the context, I think J22's team is more complete. Robin looks like he's trying to win now. And I think he has a less complete team now, but he got the best player. So best player. Exactly. Look, I'm a lean, I'm a lean the Robin (laughs) side with Kyle Pitts, but it could go either way. Yeah. Agreed. It is definitely a toss up. Um, like I said, I think Kyle Pitts wins the trade, but 
with context, I think J22 kind of feels a lot better yeah. as a whole team. All right. Well, why don't you guys comment down below and let us know what side of this trade you are leaning towards. And if we miss any context, J22 and Robin, let us know in the comments down below. I don't think anyone really necessarily lost on this no. deal, to be clear, but uh, let us know in the comments below. Yo, what's good? Thanks wow. for watching. We got a lot more videos. A lot more. If you want more videos. Watch now, it. You can also subscribe. Right now. If you want to. You need to. And lastly, don't forget that you can sign up to support the show mm -hmm. and get exclusive content by going to patreon.com forward slash fantasyland fam.